Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through getting started with PDQ inventory. A couple of things, you're going to get a couple of emails. One's going to have the link to download the executable. I've got that right here. The other one is going to have your license in it, which I have put on my desktop also. Uh, one other thing to go over is licensing. Some people get a little confused about this. We licensed by administrator, not by end mode, node. What that means, okay? We license by living, breathing human that uses it. So if I use it, it's one license. If you and I use it, that's two licenses. It's not that we share a login. Two licenses, all right? All right, <clears throat> let's just jump into getting this installed. So I'm gonna double click on the executable. It's gonna start, I'm gonna walk you through this. I'm gonna hit next. Use that uh, end user license agreement, read that. It's a good one. This again is the uh, install directory, and then we hit install. The great thing is, this is super fast. I love, see, look at that, done already. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so we're gonna hit finish. It's gonna take it, and let's do the configuration. So right out of the gate, I hit next. Here's where we put in our licensing. So when you do your licensing, if you browse for it, which I like to do, makes it really simple. I browse and mine's on my desktop. There it is, inventory, give it an okay. Puts it in there. The other thing, if you're gonna copy and paste, make sure when you copy and paste, you grab the from the three dashes before the start license to the three dashes after the end license. Give that an okay. Our licensing is in there. Hit next. Comes up to the installation type, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you have local, client, and server. We're gonna do local mode for getting started. We've got videos on doing central server mode and client mode. Um, that's best left to those videos. So let's go through the local install. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna come up with credentials. What credentials are gonna allow you to do is access the end nodes, the machines and the servers that you're gonna go do inventory scans on. So these credentials need to be a domain admin, local admin on the system, et cetera. I'm gonna use a, a domain admin for this. Give that an okay. <clears throat> gonna take a minute to Go verify, finish the configuration, and then it's gonna start up just like that. <clears throat> now, first thing you'll notice when it comes up, here is your inventory. Let's scoot that in the center here a little bit. We've got our menu bar up here, we got our tree down here. And you'll notice if I click on all computers, opens the page here, the collection page of what I've just selected, whether it's computers or another collection. <clears throat> You know, one computer is great. It's the one I've installed it on. It's gone out and um, done a scan on this. So let's get some more computers uh, into this and then we'll open up the machine Guinness and take a look at, at what we've got. To add more computers, you go to computer, add computers. You can do it from an Active Directory sync. You can browse them by name. You can do a network discovery, which goes out and scans your network for them or you can do it by name. My suggestion, the best way to do it, especially if you use Active Directory, is an Active Directory sync. If you wanna try the other routes, I've got some videos on that, but this should take care of most people. Uh, a couple of things to note here, you can set up a time sync so it syncs on an interval. Uh, the delete mode, mixed, import, and full sync. Basically a full sync, if it's in Active Directory, it is maintained here. If it's not in Active Directory, it'll delete out of your inventory. Okay, mix sync if you've got machines that have got like work group machines and, and Active Directory machines, but I'm just gonna do a full sync. We're gonna include a container. Here's the uh, domain and my Active Directory from that. There's all the machines. I can select them onesie twosie, or I can just, I'm gonna grab it at the highest level or at OU level and give it an okay. At this point, I'm gonna tell it to save this and then hit sync now. And you'll notice, there we go populates with uh, the computers from Active Directory and then goes out to scan those. So while those are scanning, let's open Guinness, which is the machine we install this on and run through what we're seeing here. Okay, down the tree on the left side over here, we have the computer, right? Here's the computer information. Also, when you're making uh, reports or dynamic collections, uh, if you want this kind of information, it came from the computer table. If you want application information, from the application table. So it's kind of a good way to find out where data exists so you can go find it, right? So again, we got computer information, Active Directory groups. Down the side here, 
hit these. There's a lot of great information. Most people, the biggest places I work are computer information and applications because I want to know what's out there. So this is the kind of information you are getting from each of your machines. Hardware information, local groups, users, fixes, that kind of a thing. Well, you'll now notice we've got some information in here. This is a good thing. And it's really, truly that quick. Obviously, I've got 36 machines in my lab. It may take a little longer to scan for your lab, but again, depends on the machines you have. Let's talk about the collection library. We're just going to run right down here to the collection library. <clears throat> if I start expanding this, the great thing, our collection library is maintained by the team here at pdq.com to keep that up to date so that your information, it's just easier for you. So let's just go take a look at how many machines. Look at this, internet browsers, Chrome. I've got 20 machines that have the Chrome internet browser on it. Check that out. I've got one machine with the latest version. Okay. And then I've got <clears throat> 10 machines where it's not installed. And then I've got 19 machines with an older version. Okay. So right out the gate, I can tell, boom, I've got some work to do to get these things patched and up to date. <clears throat> That's really cool. You know, let's say I wanted to look for Firefox. Obviously, I can browse down there. Or there's a filter right here. I can type in Fire. And there we go, Firefox. I can expand those. Okay. So that filter works great. Well, let's build a new dynamic collection. Show you how that works. So we go up to the top here. We hit New Dynamic Collection. I want to find information. I wanted to find all the machines that have 7-zip. Okay. That information doesn't exist in the computer table. It exists in the application table. So here's the drop down of all the tables. And you notice those names match very closely. So application name contains, so here's all the options, install date, name, publisher, hive. I'm just going to roll with name and your comparisons. Lots of different types of comparisons there. But we're going to look for any machine that has an application that contains the word 7-zip in it. I'm going to give that an OK. And right down here, here's my new collection. It's updating the membership. Bang, there you go. There's all the machines that have 7-zip in it. Pretty cool. It's really truly that easy to use. Let me show you two more things. We'll run to reports. Let's go run a report. Let's just go run the application report. Okay. Oh, this application, notice it says the application is running on 7-zip. You know what? I'm going to select all computers because I want to find out all the application on all the computers. So there's Allen Rails, there's Beth. Wow, that's a lot of information. Kind of hard to chew on, I think. But any of these up any of these uh, columns at the top here, if I right click on it, I can go group by this column. And there you go. Now I've got all the machines and all the different versions of 7-Zip, Adobe Acrobat, and this is searchable. So let's say, let's see if I have anybody that's got Bandazip. There we go. I've got 11 machines with Bandazip. If I expand that, those are the 11 machines. And again, I can click on those and it opens the computer window. So that you can go through and yep, there's band is it. So that <clears throat> is your basic run through. Now, building reports is very similar to building. Let's build a new basic report really quick. New basic report. We're going to call this report. We're going to select our collection source, all computers. Give that an okay. You notice there it is, all computers. And it ran it. Well, I didn't really finish what I was going to do. So I hit define reports. We'll just call this report, we're just going to make a report called 7-Zip, because I know I've got machines with 7-Zip. I want to be able to see the computer name. I want to see the application name. And I want to see the application version. Okay, that's what's going to be in the report. And then I'm going to add filters to that. Filters, give me all, new filter. The computers, all the computers that have application that the name contains, once again, 7-zip. And I give that a run report, and there we go. There's all the machines with the different applications, or excuse me, with the different versions of 7-zip in their applications. Surprising to me, they actually, the title, the version's in the title, that's cool, but again, just wanted to show you how you could do that. So, there you go, it's that easy to build reports. A couple of places you can look for information to you know, get more ideas and things that you can do with inventory. PDQ.com 
front slash videos. And then you can go look at all the inventory videos. I'll take you through building reports, building advanced collections, those kind of things. So, you know, don't be afraid to go take a look at those. Also, if you want, if you go into your install directory, program files, x86, admin arsenal, inventory, you'll get see the getting started PDF right there. There it is. Pretty much covered in the video what's covered in that document. But for a refresher, go ahead and hit that and um, <clears throat> might be some uh, good reading for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.